getting to holiday season, so holidays mean decorations, Christmas trees. Harvest is finished and we are moving into the winter months and into the holiday time. So events tend to ramp up around here. We have a lot of different events and activities going on throughout December to just help bring the community together, celebrate the holidays, have a little fun, drink a little wine and close out 2023. Probably our biggest event of the year is our Hillside Market Day. We do a hillside market uh, twice a year, and this is our fall market. So we really target it towards the holidays uh, as people settle in, get past Thanksgiving and start thinking about Christmas. This past year, we had over almost 30 vendors at this event, and we're aiming to do the same for this year. And we bring in local vendors um, who really have everything from food to woodworking to clothing and jewelry. We have live music, we have a food truck. Um, it's a great day, it's a lot of fun. It's crazy and crazy fun. This is a long-term tradition that dates back before Hardware Hills was even here. Rob! All right, Rob is here. The interesting thing about Market is always on the day after Thanksgiving. And this year, it just so happens that the day after Thanksgiving is Rob's birthday. Who did that? I, it wasn't me. <laughs> it's Rob's birthday. You have to tell him it's your boss. And today's Rob's brother. And Wretches. <laughs>I, I'm pretty sure I know who uh, who tipped the musician off for it being my birthday and my brother's birthday, coincidentally. And I'm not a um, center of attention, happy birthday guy, so I tried to make a run for it, but was unsuccessful. It was actually very thoughtful. It was a lot of fun. Um, good way to celebrate birthday. Lots of people around, wine, and good times. of the events because it adds an entirely extra vibe to what we're doing here. December was jam-packed with events here at Harbor Hills. We had uh, a 5K run and wine walk for those that didn't want to run a full 5K. People got to really tour the whole vineyard. So the 5K was around the vineyard, uh, really the entire property, including down uh, towards the Hardware River. The cool thing about this event is that we have water stops along the way, but they're also wine stops. So those people who have signed up for the wine version get to have pit stops where they get to sample some of our wines. Another beautiful day, the weather was great. We had a food truck, we had live music. It was a, it was a fantastic event. The events here at Harbor Hills, really this is Andrea's baby. I mean, she is the, the brains behind the outfits. She comes up with the ideas. We try and keep just fun events scheduled and we'll bounce ideas off of one another. We like to have activities ongoing and we have a great facility for it. It's wonderful to bring people together. Wine is communal anyway. Uh, so when you can bring people together and have a little event or activity or something fun to do, it's really neat to, to have a facility in the community where we can do those things. In addition to the 5K that we do, there's a lot of other crafty DIY events that we've lined up. So we have a wreath making class, we have a hat making class, we've done, we're doing a, an essential oils make it and take it class. And Andrea has a lot of fun with it. She, uh, she really builds the calendar. She's very creative and, and thinking up ideas of how people can come together and do things as a group, but also individually and have a lot of fun. You can come in on any of the days that we're open and sit and relax and enjoy conversation with us, but the events just add an extra element of entertainment and something to do when you come and hang out with us. It really is um, It's special when we look at how we round out the calendar here and the ideas that, that Andrea comes up with and then to bring those to life. It's pretty neat. So we are in the Vidal Blanc block of our vineyard and as you can see the vines have lost all their leaves for this year and they are now going into winter dormancy where 
it will sleep through the winter and during that time over the next few months we will be doing pruning so we will be cutting back some of the old growth and making way for new buds to break in the early spring of 2024. So the kids are spread out four different states, not really close by, but holidays are coming. So that means they're slowly trickling in and heading home. We don't get together as a family as often as we would like and the holidays are a perfect time to do that. Bring everyone together on a vineyard, even better. It makes the holidays what holidays should be. Without them, it just wouldn't be the same. Hi, I'm Phil. I am the oldest child and the favorite. I'm Riley. I am the second oldest child, and I think I'm the child that drinks the most wine out of everyone. I'm Brooke. I'm the second youngest and only girl. Hi, I'm Evan. I'm the youngest, and I drink more wine than Riley. So when we first told the kids about moving to the vineyard, we had a bit of a mixed reaction. Some were a little more, yay, go for it. And others were like, you're doing what? I think probably the biggest adjustment is when they're coming home, it's no longer the home that they grew up in. And so it's a very different experience coming to visit for holiday time or family time because they're not in their old stomping ground. Uh, I would say mixed bag. The, the most of the kids, I think they admire what we're doing. They probably think we're a little crazy. If you lose screws, they're probably not wrong. Um, it's a lot of work and they see that. Um, they question sometimes like, why, why would you guys do this? And we, we ask ourselves the same question. I think my initial reaction when they bought the vineyard was yikes. Yeah, so when they first bought the vineyard, I was actually in Miami clubbing and they were trying to call me and FaceTime me, so I had to step outside and obviously was very excited. I was excited for them when they bought the vineyard. Uh, I didn't really know anything about wine or anything, so it was just like, all right, yeah, go for it. Try it out. My first reaction when they bought the place was confusion. It was a, definitely a big change of pace considering where we were before versus, uh, you know, living a bit of a farm life now. Although we did know it was coming because it was essentially all they had talked about for years at that point. It just finally happened. And it was happening, so none of us really knew what to expect or what this place even looked like at the time. It was awesome. I think it was amazing for them. Uh, definitely something new, exciting, a little crazy. It's really cool. I like the lifestyle out here a little bit more than where we lived before. This is a very like underrated part of the country. A lot of people don't know what you would find in central Virginia, but then you get out here and there's there's so much to do and, and so much to see. Sleeping on the floor. <laughs> it's a little more secluded, most definitely. A lot more wine. I think it's beautiful. I live in the Midwest where it's very flat and there's a lot of rural farmland similar to this, but it, it doesn't even compare. I think all of the, the vineyards and distilleries and everything that's around here adds so much to the scenery. Definitely a lot different. Uh, for one, I live in Texas, so it's a little bit challenging to get all the way out here to Scottsville, Virginia from an airport, but you know, I really enjoy it. I think it's, it's a little off the grid, right? There's no phone service out here. There's not many stores, not as many people. It's very different. Coming here is definitely a lot different. Um, I would say it was an adjustment because every time we come here, it's wine making 101, learning about what they're doing with the business and how we can help. It's definitely an all hands on deck operation when we're in town. I have been down here for harvest once and it was a crazy day. Really cool to see all the grape snips. It's super satisfying to snip a grape. I helped out with our festival last year around Thanksgiving time. I've gone to a couple of the wine festivals out near, I want to say the Richmond area. I came back this past, I want to say this past September, uh, tail end of harvest, helped a little bit with that. It's good fun, a lot of grapes. The first time I ever came here to visit, they'd only been here for about a month, and we spent 
almost an entire day bottling rosé and I think I overflowed the bottling machine four or five times. It was a little sticky and messy. I've lost a little bit of product in the process. It's okay. idea to put the winemakers to the test and see how well they know their wines. So we're going to do a blind taste testing. Each of them will taste a few wines without seeing the label and we'll see if they can identify which wine is which. The, the guess the wine challenge? I, Andrea doesn't stand a chance. Blind taste challenge? I could totally nail that. Definitely will know every one of those wines. I know Andrea will say she's going to be better because she's competitive. Uh, she doesn't stand a chance. I know all of our wines inside now. In fact, I could probably uh, name just about any wine in Virginia, and I don't think Andrea could even come close. Please don't tell her I said that. I would say, Rob, C plus, 70% or so. Well, you can do it. Bring it on. I could totally do it. Andrea will win, I think. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. I think they're both going to talk really big games. There'll be a lot of smack talk leading up to it, but if I was a betting man, I'd probably have my money on Andrea. I think the winner for that competition is probably going to be Andrea. Um, I think she'll be a little more analytical about it, while Rob will probably be throwing back wine and uh, talking trash. You know, I think they both have a pretty good shot of guessing them, just because they are surrounded by wine constantly, but mom's going to win. No question. I mean, if I get it wrong, we, we can just cut that out right like make that go away redo it so if, if we just agree like if i get some wrong in that challenge we just cut that out if andrea gets or let me rephrase it when andrea gets some wrong let's just leave those in so the viewers understand who the real expert is here at hardware hills right are we allowed to do that right we yeah we could do that right May the best person win. And that best person is sitting right here. All right, wine number one. All right. I know it. Oh, I just want to drink all the wine. Oh. <laughs> On the count of three, we say what it is. All right, ready? One, Rock, two, three. Hillside. Hillside Red. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. This is it. This is the difference maker right here. It's a white wine. Huh. Uh, I already know it. Still a white wine. I do too. Mm. One of my favorites. Can't miss it. Okay. I know it. I know it. So do I. I'm ready. Ready? One, two, three. Tremonet. Tremonet. <laughs> Yee hoo! Yes. Oop. Floral to the max. I love it. I think I'm winning. No. It's a, it's oh, it's a tie. It's a tie ball game here. Tie. Tie game. Okay. Winning at life. This is the tiebreaker. This is where you're about to go down. It's a red wine. Cheers. Mm. Mm. I think I know it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think mm. I do too. It's gonna be close. It is gonna be close. All right, ready? One. Two, three. Riverbend Legacy Red. Legacy Red. Oh, that yes. was my second choice. <laughs> Winemaker. Good, good job. Legacy Red to me is as, is the smoothest of our wines and it picks up the amazing color of Chamberson and it's 100% estate grown Chamberson. It goes with like everything. It's awesome. I agree. And I love it. And I knew it.
right, last one. Last Here we go. One. If I get this right and you get this wrong, it's a tie. We have to go to the tiebreaker round. Whatever that is. Is that right? Yep. It's a white wine. You gotta do better than that. Cottage Save all white. Blanc. <laughs> <laughs> it's rigged. I it knew is it. Not rigged. It was rigged. Was she? Was she looking? What she was cheating. Cottage white is super Ugh. light and crisp, and this has got a it's lot good. of it's body to it. Because I haven't eaten it. anything all day. <laughs> I need to go have lunch. Yes, indeed. I need more wine, and then let's do this again. Rapidly becoming a favorite grape of mine. That is nice. Always Bonus the, round. Always the white wine. It's gonna be. Well, and the red wine. <laughs> I, I, th I know I'm gonna go out on a limb with this one. <laughs> I believe. Cheers. Harvest rosé. Harvest rosé. Nice. <laughs> mm. That's the one. That's good. We both win, yeah. right? I actually won. Yeah. The what? whole thing. Well, we weren't keeping score. <laughs> yes, we were. Congratulations. Thank you. No surprise there, I am the winemaker, so yeah, nailed it. So I'm pretty convinced, and you guys probably are as well, it had to be rigged. You had some inside information, uh, there's just no way I actually lost that challenge. Twenty twenty four. It's hard to believe twenty twenty four is here already. Far and away, our biggest anticipation for twenty twenty four. The biggest thing that I, I'm hoping to be excited about is our expansion project. The construction project we're hoping to pull off to get the tasting room done, um, to get all the site work done, and really improve the experience here uh, for our, our guests and customers to fully enjoy um, the winery experience the way we envision it. And more bathrooms, which will be hugely helpful, <laughs> especially when we have large gatherings. So we've had this conversation for a year and a half now, and really, I am not the patient one, so I am the most anxious to get this thing going. I feel like we are, it's like two steps forward, three steps backwards in trying to, to launch the project, but I'm hopeful, I'm excited, and I'm ready. 2024 also is about our new wine. So the new vintage of wines will be released. We'll have everything that we harvested last year should be released throughout the year. Some of it is fantastic. Actually, all of it is fantastic. I have a few favorites, uh, but they really come out nice. The quality of the fruit from last year's harvest was amazing. Uh, the wine should be equally amazing. We'll be able to share those with our guests throughout the year. I, I do hope our kids are proud of us. I think um, it was a pretty bold decision, or a very bold decision, uh, for us to do this. And it's a decision that didn't come lightly, and I, I really hope the kids see that um, as kind of doing something courageous in life, taking a bold step, taking chances. Rob, Andrea, you're doing a great job. Just keep it up. I'm proud of you. Super happy for you guys. So proud of you know everything you guys have done thus far and are, are gonna do moving forward. I am so proud of you both. You work so hard on everything that you do here. You have brought this business so far in just a few short years and I'm so excited to see where you take it next. And thank you for being so inspiring with all your dedication um, to doing what you love. Good job. <laughs> you guys gotta start shipping to Texas. Thank you all for tuning in. We're really excited to take you with us on this journey. We're really excited for you to join us in what's next. Uh, so please come out and see us. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, head for the hills.
So yeah, it's it's always great having family come. It's great seeing you guys. It's great seeing you guys leave. <laughs> Can I get approximate? Yeah, a bedroom would be great. Um... <laughs> nope. Ruined my life. Uh, I have tasted almost zero of their wines. I love the sparkling wine. It's all terrible. I love the, what is it called? <laughs> I'm sure your wines are great, so I hear. Um, Joe Flacco is an elite quarterback. No, what is it? Someone said the wines were great. I've heard, all right, this interview. <laughs> <laughs> the red, the, Head for the hills. River bend red. Head for the hills. I'm trying to become a better red wine drinker and that's how we can get there. And head for the hills. That sounds mean. That sounds bad. I don't like that. Don't use that. Head for the hills. Um, do you want me to just keep talking? What do I do? For those of you that don't know me, I love cake balls, delicious cake balls. They are um, life-changing, they're amazing. Come in and show everybody how to do it the right way. It was a big mess, someone had to do it. Delicious cake balls.